define a value. Anybody? I find it very difficult to define words like this by a dictionary. I prefer quotation because I think quotations capture the meaning of a word in life and essence. This, I saw this quote online, what values mean. Values are not like public transport. They don't take you from point A to point B in your life. They are here to help you define who you are. And Malaysian values help us define who we are. Again, when I look at Malaysia, okay, sometimes we notice the things in this country are not going so well. I see a lot of unwanted pregnancies, teenage baby dumping, I see a lot of smash that, I see a lot of robberies, I see a lot of crime. Do I act about it? No, I just complain about it. <laughs> 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 Much, much. But we need to change that. See, I realize Malaysia is currently going through a dark time. But I read this quote online which gave me hope. In the darkest of the night, can you find the brightest of stars? I said in my semi-final speech, when I, when I said similar things in this, I said something, um, yeah, it is the darkest of shadows which bring life to an image because the shadows is what give a picture its depth and beauty. And only by acknowledging our past can we appreciate our future. So, you know, I, I go on, I think about Malaysia, I, as I was preparing for this speech, I, you know, I was wondering what can I talk about. I heard recently this testimony from a lady who went for the Burse Valley. Throughout her whole life, she had never mixed with other races. She just kept to herself. She never experienced what it means to be a Malaysian. But she said in a testimony that when she was at the Burse Valley, for the first time in her life, she felt the true Malaysian spirit. I was so, I was so touched by that. But then I asked myself, what is the Malaysian spirit? What are Malaysian values? How do you define them? I see. What do I see? I see Malaysians going to the mama, complaining how oily the food is and then working. <laughs> I see. You know, imagine if Olympics came to Malaysia, what would we win? We win durian eating competition. <laughs> it's amazing. Malaysians are very resilient people. When earthquakes happen in other countries, everybody's crying, oh, I lost my house, I lost my family. Earthquakes happen in Malaysia. Did you feel it? Uh? Did you feel it? <laughs> so well. But at the same time, I think Malaysia is full of these beautiful ironies and, and, and all these contradictions that only Malaysian people can understand. When there's a no U-turn sign, you U-turn. <laughs> I, I love this one I read online. When foreigners come to the country, you immediately go to the KLCC, the Twin Towers. It's so tall, the view is amazing. I have never been there in my life. <laughs> I'm proudly telling because I'm a Malaysian and I can. So you know, it's interesting. Of course, jokes aside, when you look at the deeper things, you know, if you separate all our cultures, by themselves, they can't do much. When you bring them together, I tell you, you form Malaysia. And Malaysia is a beautiful amalgamation of cultures, customs, creed, religions, races, people. But the problem is sometimes we have boundaries, like, like racial, racial barriers, racial boundaries. And I've discovered this amazing way to break down the barriers. is through language. I, act, I acted on this problem, how to break down these boundaries, how to break down these barriers. Language. I can speak English. Sai boleh cakap bahasa Melayu. Wafei chan ite ten pai. Konjum konjum tamal presne. <laughs> I don't be strong my life being able to speak this language, addressing people in a language that are comfortable with, uh, I tell you, it breaks down every barrier, you know. No more are they afraid of you, no more are they angry at you. They will communicate with you. People are always looking for symbol of unity in Malaysia, isn't it? Food la, drink la, animal la, flower la. Hello, symbol of unity, look no further. No, seriously, once you see my hair, cannot look further. <laughs> Okay, you like because of hair, you know. The Malays will say, wow, power, power. In you say, hey, matcha, good hairstyle, matcha. Time you say, real or not, real or not, very <laughs> good. Now, last but not least, the last one, I, okay, I'll quickly wrap up with this amazing inspiration story that I heard from two Malaysian boys. How many of you take public transport here? I do a lot. If you've noticed at the Kalana Jai LRT station, there are no chairs. People sit there waiting for half an hour, 45 minutes for buses to come. It's hot, it's dusty, it's very hard to sit on the dirty floor, sit on the chairs, sit on the grass. These two boys, they saw the problem. They acted on it, they built six chairs, free of charge, put them there and said, free seating, free seating. At first, people suspicious. They said, you can't make any change. Then they made, they advocated, they advocated, they signed up online petition, online forms. They got in one month the municipal city council to put chairs for them. I was so inspired. I thought that is what Malaysian value is. You know, my IC says Indian, but my heart says Malaysian. Whoa!